Hi, everybody. I just want to talk about the non-residential speculation tax, or better known as the foreign buyers tax. You know, as of October the 25th, the uh, government of Ontario announced uh, amendments to this tax, better known as NRST. So I'm just going to read a little bit about it. I'm going to just uh, follow my notes. So as I mentioned, as of October the 25th, uh, 2022, the non-resident speculation tax increased from 20% up to 25%. And, you know, the provincial rationale behind this tax increase is basically to deter foreign speculation in the housing market. So what types of properties um, does the NRST apply to? So I'm going to read this. On the purchase or acquisition of an interest in residential property and the transfer of designated land, which is considered land that contains at least one, but not more than six single family residences. So this includes all residential types located in uh, in the province of Ontario. So anywhere in Ontario, the uh, foreign buyers tax is uh, applicable for, for those types of, of properties. So what types of properties does the NSR tax not get applied? So this tax increase does not apply to any other types such as land containing multi-residential rental apartment buildings with more than six units, agricultural, commercial, and industrial land. So it doesn't apply to any of those. So who does it affect? It affects any foreign nationals, meaning those that are not Canadian citizens or permanent residences of Canada, or by foreign corporations, or taxable trustees, regardless of their share in ownership, they must pay this tax increase. So who is exempt? Permanent residents, residents of Canada, protected persons such as refugees, spouses of Canadian citizens, and foreign nationals in the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program. So uh, is this a separate tax? Is this on top of the land transfer tax? This is in addition to the land transfer tax in Ontario. So those that are residing in Canada that are permanent residents, uh, this does not apply to you. Uh, if you are married to someone who is a Canadian citizen, but you are not, and you're buying a, a residential property under six um, single family units, then this does not apply to you. So if you have any other questions, uh, I have provided a link to the Ontario government for more information Website. about that, please feel free to access that link. If you have any questions regarding buying real estate, I'm here to help you. I'm here to be of service to you. And more importantly, I'm here to make your day.